The Sedgwick County Sheriff's Department is investigating after an off-duty firefighter was injured in a rollover crash. It happened around 720 this morning at 13th and 127th Street North. Cake Jordan Shefty was on the scene all morning and talked with the man who made the call to 911. This accident injured one person very badly damaged this car. Debris is strewn all through that tree line. In fact, there is even some glass right up here by me, about 20 feet away from the car. The noise of the impact so loud it caught the attention of those inside this building. Wendell Funk was just getting to work Wednesday morning when his usual routine was interrupted. I heard this explosion and I thought something was wrong with the building so <laughs> I just ran out and uh, as I kind of looked around I looked to my left and I saw the the vehicle over there upside down and it was smoking. This was the scene he found debris scattered all through the area. Worried about the driver Wendell immediately called 911. The guy was upside down, hanging from his seatbelt, just blood streaming from his forehead and uh, pretty scary. That 49 year old victim amazingly only suffered some cuts to his head and an arm injury. Witnesses say the truck was driving erratically before hitting this line of trees and rolling on its top. It was uh, not an everyday occurrence. Some saying those trees may have been a lifesaver. Chances are he may have gone inside the building had they not been there. So I'm glad they put the trees up when they did. The Sedgwick County Sheriff's Department says the accident is still under investigation, but it appears the driver, an off-duty Sedgwick County firefighter, suffered a medical condition, a scary start to Wednesday that could have ended up a lot worse. For us, with just a few trees, it's got a little scars on them. Everything's good. Jordan Shafty, Cake News.